So here are three things you can copy from the Felix Auger Aliasim forehand to help improve your forehand. Now this video is courtesy of 12 KGP Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. Now the way you want to check your own technique is simply to film yourself, review the footage, and compare it. Look for these three things in your own technique. The first is take the racket back with both hands and then extend your non-hitting arm. I love uh, uh, Dimitrov, it's the same thing here with Felix, how extended the left arm gets. When you extend and have, let's say there's a person standing over here, when what is closest to this person standing over here is the non-hitting hand reaching over, it really helps coil the body, which then allows for uncoiling. So check to see that at the beginning, you take the racket back with both hands. You can see two heads are better than one, two-headed monster, racket head and his head are the same height, tip of the racket up, and then extend when you let go with that non-hitting hand across. You can see his left arm as a righty is parallel to the net. The amount of coiling you'll feel when you do this is insane. The second is close the racket face. This of all the things I teach, I really have about four things <laughs> that I love to coach because they instantly help players improve. You've got to close your racket face on your forehand, meaning feel like your palm is tilted uh, down toward the ground, which depending on the grip, especially like an Eastern or a high semi-Western, your palm is going to face very similarly to where your strings are pointing. When your strings point down at the moment when your butt cap is pointing toward the ball, that's what gets your strings to face toward your target so consistently. You watch most recreational players who struggle with control on their forehand and their racket is straight up and down at this point. You want your racket face closed somewhere around 45 degrees. Again, it depends on the grip that you've got. But closing the racket face makes swinging up for spin so easy to accomplish. When your racket face is straight up and down, you swing across, the ball goes all over the place, close your racket and swing up. And the last thing, and this is something that the pros do all the time, especially when they're practicing, is they catch the racket. I like to tell people, copy the technique that players use during practice because it's usually technique that you and I can copy as non-professional athletes. So go out, make sure you're doing these things. Take the racket back as you rotate your body. It's really not take the racket back. It's just rotate the body and let non, the non-hitting hand go for the ride to help you uh, have that unit turn. But extend that non-hitting arm out. Close the racket face when you drop the racket. That's going to make it so easy to get topspin when you swing up and catch the racket in your non-hitting hand for an insane amount of control. Now, the best way to practice these techniques is at home with a Topspin Pro. You can get a Topspin Pro using my link in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. I absolutely love the Topspin Pro, and I know you will too. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, you want to find a league in your area, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court, and it's playercourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Look, improving your forehand is simple. Do three things. T rotate the body with the non-hitting hand on, and then let go and extend it out to the side. Close the racket face at the bottom of the swing, and when you swing up, catch the racket in your non-hitting hand. Doing these three things, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.